today we're going to paint some bases for my thousand sons. Hi guys, Jonathan from Two Raven Studios. Welcome. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. We have new painting videos every week and you don't want to miss out. Today what we're going to do is a quick video on how to paint some bases. So we're going to do like a temple floor kind of onyx slab type thing. Um, we're going to use contrast through the airbrush and it's going to be really quick and easy. If you don't have an airbrush, you can do the same thing using wet blending like I did on last week's bases. Today's bases are actually 3D prints. Uh, I designed the file myself. I'm going to put a link to my Thingiverse so you can grab the files if you want to. They're a quick, easy thing to print out and they just go right on top of the regular bases. So let's get right into painting. This is a quick one today. We're starting with Aethermatic Blue in the airbrush and we're just kind of doing random patches over these bases. So just spraying here, spraying there. You're going to find out throughout this video I might be in the way, like right there of the video. I didn't like this camera angle. I was trying something new. It didn't quite work. So all we're doing again is just Aethermatic Blue straight into the airbrush and random blotches on the base here. Up next we have Shyish Purple, again just straight into the airbrush and we're going to paint all the areas we did not paint the Aethermatic Blue in the last step. What you can do with this step a little bit is go over some areas more than once and it will create slightly darker spots. So you can kind of see the effect we're getting here, how it's a little bit of that blue glow in the darker color. And back to Aethermatic Blue, and we're just kind of reinforcing those areas, making them a little bit more vibrant. The Aethermatic Blue, I find, does not cover well when you put it through the airbrush, so you want to do multiple layers. We just did one before and one after to help it blend into the surrounding areas a little bit better. Now we're going to move over to a regular brush. I'm using Graveyard Denim from P3. You can use any kind of bluish gray here. And all I'm doing is going around the edges of all of these different slabs and edge highlighting. And you know how, if you've watched any of my other videos, when I edge highlight, it's not necessarily always straight lines. There's breaks in lines, dots in certain spots, and I'm doing the same thing here. So just going around the edges of all the pieces, it's a pretty simple process. Just edge highlight that around the edges of all of the individual blocks. In this step I'm taking Troll Blood Highlight, which is a lighter warm gray, and now I'm picking two edges. So for your point of view, it's going to be the left and front of each block, and paint again, edge highlight that side. So we're not going around the entire edge like we did last time, we're just picking two sides of each block, just keep it the same throughout the uh, base. Again I'm using the left and front side from our perspective and just edge highlighting those the same way we did in the last step. Just kind of refining the highlights a little bit.
once you're happy with the edge highlights you can just put some dots in part of the darker areas kind of like a glints of reflection on the stone so just little dots in random places on the blocks to kind of show light reflecting off those blocks I know it's hard to see right now because my hands in the way but that's what I'm doing there you go you can see the little reflection lines I put in Now this is really what's going to make it pop. I'm just putting gloss varnish all over the base. I'm going to keep gloss varnish on the one and not the other so you can see the difference in what it makes. So I'm going to leave the shot on here till it dries a little bit and gives you a real idea of the difference between the two. It really helps the color pop out and really sell the effect of the shiny stone. I use, uh, again, Viejo uh, gloss varnish through the airbrush, but you could use any gloss varnish you want. Like I always say, it doesn't really matter what paint you use, it's the technique. So here is a picture. You can really see the difference in how the gloss brings out the shine and the depth of color in the base a lot more. And here's just some models on said bases. So again, this was just a quick one today. So using that technique, you can pretty quickly paint some cool looking bases for your whole army like I did for my Thousand Sons. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, make sure you hit the bell button. We release new videos every Tuesday and Friday, and you don't want to miss out on any of the cool upcoming stuff. So until next time, keep on gaming and paint your minis.